There's yet another longevity supplement on the market that promises to improve your immune system, mental health, and liver function. But if it's so great, why is it caught up in regulatory confusion? Hi, I'm Caroline, and here at Health News, we're not just delivering the facts, we're digging deep to bring you the most reliable, evidence-based insights. Today, we're breaking down the science of N-acetylcysteine, a compound you'll definitely wanna know more about. So what exactly is NAC and why is it so important? At its core, N-acetylcysteine is a precursor to the amino acid cysteine, and this is where the magic starts. Your body needs cysteine to produce glutathione, one of the most important antioxidants we naturally have. Without cysteine, your body can't make glutathione efficiently. When you take NAC, it's absorbed and converted into L-cysteine, which then can be combined with two other amino acids, glutamine and glycine, to form glutathione. This process takes place primarily in the liver, but glutathione is synthesized and present in virtually every cell of the body. Now, why is glutathione so important? Glutathione is often referred to as the master antioxidant because it plays such a critical role in protecting our cells from oxidative stress. Oxidative stress happens when there are more free radicals than our antioxidant defense system can effectively neutralize. Over time, oxidative stress leads to cell damage and is linked to a range of health issues from aging to chronic diseases. Studies have shown that NAC's ability to increase glutathione levels may help in a wide variety of conditions related to oxidative stress, inflammation, and chemical intoxication. One of the key functions of glutathione is to support our liver's ability to metabolize xenobiotics, foreign substances to the body, such as drugs. Every day, our body is exposed to xenobiotic substances from the environment, medications, or even our diet. Glutathione helps neutralize free radicals or other harmful byproducts that are produced during the metabolism of these substances in the liver. For instance, in cases of acetaminophen overdose, NAC is the first line treatment and aids in replenishing glutathione levels in the liver. This helps prevent severe liver damage by counteracting the ability of harmful acetaminophen metabolites. Studies suggest that NAC works especially well in individuals exposed to various xenobiotics or who have conditions like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But glutathione isn't just a liver protector, it's a cellular shield that protects the brain, the heart, and even the skin from oxidative damage. It supports immune function aids in DNA repair, and ensures proper cell function throughout the body. Beyond its antioxidant and liver supporting functions, NAC has also been linked to mental health. Early evidence suggests that NAC supplementation may help manage anxiety, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and even addiction. And this is where things get really interesting. NAC's role in the brain is still being actively studied, but it appears to influence two key neurotransmitters, glutamate and dopamine. Let's start with glutamate, which is the body's major excitatory neurotransmitter. While glutamate is essential for brain function, too much of it can lead to excitotoxicity. It's a state where nerve cells are damaged or cell death occurs due to excessive stimulation. NAC may help regulate glutamate levels in specific brain parts, preventing this kind of overexcitation and reducing the risk of neuronal damage. There's growing evidence that NAC's ability to modulate glutamate levels in the brain may have potential applications in certain mental health conditions like schizophrenia, obsessive compulsive disorder, and bipolar disorder. For example, in some studies, individuals with schizophrenia who took NAC showed improvements in cognitive function and symptoms, such as reduced motivation and emotional flatness. Now, dopamine is often associated with the feeling of pleasure. In animal studies, NAC has been shown to alter dopamine release in the brain, which could have potential implications for conditions like addiction and depression. It's believed that NAC may help regulate dopamine levels in various areas of the brain with the potential to improve mood and reduce addictive behaviors. Despite the promising research, there are still significant limitations. Much of the current research on NAC has been done on specific populations or in small scale studies. Larger, more robust clinical trials are needed to confirm these benefits and better understand the full scope of NAC's effect on mental health, inflammation-related illnesses, and overall health. 
as we've seen, NAC's potential goes well beyond being just a precursor for glutathione. But with all its proposed benefits, why is it under such scrutiny? NAC has actually been used in medicine for decades. In fact, it's FDA approved for several life-saving medical uses. One of its most well-known applications is treating acetaminophen overdose. When someone takes too much acetaminophen, it can damage the liver. NAC helps prevent that damage by replenishing glutathione levels and neutralizing toxic metabolites. NAC is also used as an additional treatment for a wide range of respiratory conditions. It's sometimes prescribed for chronic bronchitis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cystic fibrosis, pneumonia, and even post-surgical pulmonary complications. NAC's mucolytic properties make it effective at breaking down mucus in the lungs, helping the body to remove them easier in conditions where mucus buildup is a major issue. Therefore, NAC has established itself as an important compound in the medical world. For this reason, the FDA has imposed specific restrictions on how N-acetylcysteine can be marketed. NAC was approved as a drug in 1963. According to the FDA's rules, if a substance is first approved as a drug, it cannot later be marketed as a dietary supplement unless it was sold as a supplement before the drug approval, which in NAC's case, it wasn't. This means that under current regulations, NAC cannot officially be labeled or sold as a dietary supplement. However, the FDA has stated they are using enforcement discretion, which means they're not actively pursuing regulatory action against companies that sell NAC as a supplement for now. This regulatory gray area has left consumers confused. Is NAC legal to purchase as a supplement? The answer is yes, but it's complicated. Many people are unaware of the FDA's stance on NAC and the restrictions on how it's labeled have raised questions about its safety and efficacy. Additionally, many manufacturers have pulled NAC products from large platforms like Amazon, leading to concerns about its availability. For those interested in using NAC for its antioxidant or liver health benefits, this legal uncertainty makes it harder to navigate the supplement market. As a result of these FDA restrictions, the availability and labeling of NAC on the market have been significantly affected. Some companies are hesitant to sell NAC products due to the legal risks, while others continue to market them, relying on the FDA's temporary enforcement discretion. This has created an inconsistent market with some products disappearing from the shelves and others continuing to be sold with unclear labeling. The FDA has indicated that they are still reviewing NAC status and are considering rulemaking that could potentially allow NAC to be officially marketed as a dietary supplement in the future. But for now, consumers are stuck in a confusing legal limbo, unsure of what to trust. So if you're still considering taking NAC, here's what you need to know to reduce the risk of potential side effects. Like any supplement, NAC comes with some potential side effects. The most common include gastrointestinal issues like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Some people may also experience a rash, and in very rare cases, allergic reactions like anaphylactoid reactions, which can cause serious adverse effects and may require medical attention. It's also important to be mindful of potential interactions. NAC may interact with certain medications, such as blood thinners or blood pressure medications. So if you're taking any prescription drugs or have underlying health conditions, it's crucial to speak with your doctor before starting NAC. While NAC has many potential benefits, always ensure you're using it safely and in consultation with a healthcare professional. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to check out our other videos on magnesium and berberine, where we dive into more ways to buttress your health naturally. Don't forget to subscribe to the Health News channel for more science-backed wellness tips.